Alrighty. <sighs> Setting up stream is always so much work and so frustrating, but I'm committed to finishing this painting on stream. Oh my gosh, so you're kind of loud for me. Can I turn? It's a bit loud. Turn you down. Or then turn you up. I'm thinking. Because I don't want to hear it. Um, let me make sure it's not like blowing out the speakers though. And overlapping the sound. Let me make sure it's not like blowing out the speakers though. And overlapping the sound. Sure it's not like Ooh. Not y'all can hear all that. Sorry. Apologies for that. Um, it's not the quietest. Uh, I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be okay. Anyways, so I forgot that, that my easel has this thing I want to show you, and I'm not really sure what these are for. There's these little things here, and I don't know what they are, but I've been using them to either stabilize my easel when I'm doing a really big canvas or to hold my paint stuff like pulled my palette. So I'm gonna use it to hold my palette today instead of holding it in my crotch. Like a true artist. Sorry for the movement. Oh get out of the camera. I want them to see my pretty face. Okay. But yeah. I truly don't know what this is for. I probably should have read the instructions when I bought this thing. To be fair, I bought it, like, four years ago. I wonder what um, AP art is like now. I've been wondering that. I feel like I should... I don't know anybody still in high school. I feel like everybody I want to high school is aged out by now. Because technically, I should have graduated college this year. Yeah. Um. Ra -da -da -da. um. Ra -da -da. I just like to check my mic. I got a new attachment for my mic so that it doesn't sound like straight ass anymore. And it can actually hear me from far away. I don't think this is going to work. You guys can't see it, but it's it's not going to work for me. It's a no for me, dog. Whatever happened to Randy Jackson? Did you know that there is a Randy Jackson in the Jackson family? Like, the Jackson 5 Jackson family? There's another kid, and his name is Randy Jackson. I never knew that. That's so interesting. So when you look up Randy Jackson, it comes up as, like, Jackson 5. Also, I'm trying that, um... What is it called? That stock cold brew that a lot of people drink on TikTok and stuff. And it's delicious. I was judgmental at first because I was like, pre-made cold brew? Because cold brew is only really good for like a week after you make it. So I was a little hesitant, but this is delicious. I put some caramel macchiato creamer in it because that's all we had. But it's so good. Oh my gosh. No, that's delicious. I might, have to get, I might have to get a second cup at some point. That is so good. And I don't even like iced coffee. I genuinely can't stand iced coffee. 
but I've been trying to widen my horizons lately. <sighs> I have this dream of owning a art studio slash cafe when I'm older, when I'm in like my late 30s, early 40s, and like after my kids are old enough to kind of take care of themselves, like in their teenage years or whatever. I don't have kids, but in my life plan, that'll be around the time where my kids are at least 13, 14, and they can figure it out for themselves. Um, kind of, you know what I mean? Um, hold on. I'm choosing colors, and I can't talk and choose colors. What colors are we doing today? We need to do the trees. We're still focusing on the trees. So I think for right now, I'm just going to bring out my greens and my purples. So, oh, I'm going to treat this like it's the first stream I've done because the other ones you can't really hear me in because of the mic issue, but I was referring to these purple trees as willows and they're not willows. I found out what it was the other day. They're like, um, what are they called? They're like Winsterias, Winsterias. Yes. Oh my God. These things are so beautiful and they stopped blooming and I'm really sad about it. We have this garden in DC and the Winsterias were looking gorgeous this year. And I didn't end up going because my allergies have been so incredibly bad even with just sitting in the house all day. So I was like, I wouldn't be able to enjoy it. And I'm not about to go all the way down to DC to have an allergy attack. But yes, they're called Winsterias. I don't know, you can't see that. Oh, this, this guy's gonna be better for you. Isn't that gorgeous? Ah! I kinda wanna go more off of this then than the original um it's so pretty oh my goodness because then you also have branches like this oh, it is gorgeous i'm excited to bring in some lighter purples to really start framing the like sections because when stereos grow in sections and it's really beautiful it really is um okay so we have my golden plates, we got my magenta and my phalo blue. We're using Artist Loft White. Um, actually, we'll use golden white because I'm an artist. This is what I do. Um, and then we're using brown. Our browns are Winsor Newton just because I have them. I really despise these paints and I'm never going to buy them ever again. But I have them and we're going to use them. Also, I don't have brown and golden paints because it's just too expensive and you can mix brown. It's not a primary. Um, so I just don't have it. And then, what else do I need for purple? I can bring in a little bit of black for some neutral, but I usually use brown for that. So I'm not even going to bother with it. Okay. At some point, I want to get another camera for my paints. I feel like it's easier when I'm doing like a top-down type look, but I'm painting on a canvas, so I'm not doing that. An easel, rather. Okay, so let me get my paints out. So give me a second to lay them out, and then we'll... My goodness. I'm going to stop my nose from running every once in a while. Might be a little gross to some people. But they can suck it because it's literally April. And what am I supposed to do? I haven't used my iPad in a while. I really miss digital art. So I'm realizing there's this thing with trying to mastering a, master a craft. Like if you're really into something, 
you're supposed to dedicate all of your energy into one thing because you can't really 100% two things. Ooh, sorry, my ear itches. Um, yeah, so you can't 100% two things. And I understand what people are saying, and I completely agree, but I'm trying to practice my paint style a lot more and get more pieces out while also learning digital art and it's a lot and people are very much so right like you should not focus on two different things it is not an easy task um but i don't really see another option because in my mind i want to practice both and then if I want to also run an art business like a lot of people do where they have like stickers and prints and stuff, you have to do both. You can't just do one. And so I don't feel like I really have time to only focus on one. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. Okay, so my white was contaminated last time. And I'm going to see if I can try and fix. Where's my rag? Am I sitting on it? Yes, I always am. I'm so lucky that acrylic paint dries fast because I would everything would be covered in paint all the time. Okay, yeah, because my my white was my white was contaminated with blue last time, and it was driving me absolutely insane. Like, I don't know if you can see that. That's washed out, but there's blue in the cap. And it keeps on contaminating my damn paint. And I don't know what to do. I just have to put it back on and deal with it. Oh, Okay. And then I use both raw and burnt umber. It helps because I use a lot of brown. Actually, since I'm only doing the trees right now, I'm going to do raw umber. Burnt umber is my favorite. I love burnt umber. It's one of my favorite colors. Like top three favorite colors. Maybe even top two. I don't care for raw umber, but it's a great color to use instead of black. Especially of a deep one. Um, this one isn't great because it's Windsor Newton, so it's super watery and doesn't do much. But it gets the job done. And I'm too lazy to go to Michael's. Can you hear that from all the way over there? I don't think you can. Where's my palette knife? I literally just saw it because I used it. Hold on. I used my palette knife to pry something open earlier. So I know I have it. The question is where? Um, oh. I hope I don't have to get up. That's such a bummer. I swear I just had it in my hand. What I was putting everything up. Oh, yeah, it's right here. I put everything in random spots. It's actually really frustrating, but I feel like... I blame everything on me just being an artist, because I feel like that's just... Things that artists do, is that they kind of just put everything wherever it fits, and they're like... They have no recollection of what happened. Okay. Here's my palette. Eh. So I usually work with primaries. I like to work with magenta a lot. Um, I feel like it fits with my color schemes usually a lot more. And it's easier to mix to me. Um, I do sometimes bring in some reds if I like specifically want red. But if I don't really care either way, I'll usually use magenta. Um, I always use a green because I hate mixing green, and then I always use brown because I hate mixing brown. Everything else, I prefer to mix because, um, who's buying a bunch of paints when they could just buy primaries? When I start having more time to paint, and I can actually paint all the time, all day, every day, I am going to start buying those buckets of paints, and it'll be in all primaries. I'll probably even stop buying brown and green at that point i might buy raw umber but not burnt umber because you can mix burnt umber <sighs> okay so we're doing purples 
there's a bit of a glare on my canvas, but I will deal. I will deal. Um, actually, will I? I wish I could prop it up like that. Can I prop it up like that? Okay. A little bit more adjusting because oh, I don't like having my paintings at a slant. Okay, that's better. The only thing about doing this is that it's more likely to fall. Um, but I don't really care. Oh, it looks so cute. I wish it looked as purple on camera as it did in real life because it is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna mix some paints here. Ooh, my blue is acting very weird. And I don't know if it's just the consistency of this blue. And it's always been like that, and I just haven't noticed. Yellow, why are you on my brush? I don't know how. Oh, that's a pretty color story. Yellow, magenta, and purple. Ooh, I like that. I might implement that. I might do like yellow flowers or something. That's so pretty. Might just inspire me. I'm still mad at yellow for being in my way, though. It needs to move. Um. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, my blue? Yeah. I'm having issues. It better not dry out on me because golden paint is fucking expensive. I think for the primaries of the small bottles, I think I got it on discount and with a coupon. So, like, I think I had a gift card and it was discounted already. I think it was $65 when I had bought it, but I think originally it was like $75, $80. I could be wrong on that though. Yeah, I bought it a while ago. But um I messed up where I put too much blue. I made an amateur mistake. <sighs> it happens. But anyways, I have been thinking a lot lately about what it's like being an AP art in 2023. Because when I took AP art, it was the last year you weren't allowed to do digital. And I remember my class had to fight to get uh, digital to be a thing. Actually, I think my class was allowed to do digital. I think it was more strict though. I think it was like, you can do a few digital, but at least half of it has to be traditional. But the year before, the year my friend took it, she said that um, that year they didn't allow digital at all. And they were like fighting to get digital into the AP art board. Um, should I just focus on these pieces up here or should I paint the eyes? I think I'm gonna focus on these ones right here so I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I kind of want to bring some more over here so I am gonna keep some of my darks out just a little and I'm gonna mix some more. I'm gonna mix a lot actually because I'm gonna need a lot and I get so frustrated. Sometimes I'll literally stop painting because I don't want to remix my paints. It's stubborn and stupid, but it frustrates me. Also, I'm very, very scarce with my mixing my paint, so I never make enough. It's just I'm cheap, and uh, paint's expensive. Like, really expensive. And getting more expensive. It's not easy out here for a pimp. Money in the bitches well spent. I don't think those are the words. I don't know what the words are for that. I've never seen Hustle and Flow fully through. I've seen Hustle and Flow at least like, at least seven times. Never seen it fully through. I've seen bits and pieces of it. I've seen the beginning, the middle, and the end, but never together. And I think that's just like a collective experience. I don't think anybody's seen it fully through. I just, I would get so frustrated every time because you know how back when people like used cable 
everybody had their four channels that they would always go to, and if nothing was on those four channels, we weren't watching anything. BET was in my rotation. I forgot what they used to even show on BET. Oh, you know what they showed? I think it was Wild and Out. I think they showed Wild and Out on BET, and I think that's why I was, like, going on BET all the time. I used to get so frustrated when Hustle and Flow was on, because who the fuck wants to watch this for the 20 millionth time? It was on every single day. It was on, like, back to back to back. Like, there's other stuff to watch. Please. I stopped watching BET after they disrespected my girl at the awards. Nikki Mirage. Um, yeah, I just couldn't do it. Because that was just so backhanded. And, like, even apart from, like, Nikki, even if you don't like Nikki, that got nothing to do with it. It was just so disrespectful. I don't know. I just, I really, it, it, it felt bad and I did not like it. I did not like the feeling. I felt like they not only disrespected Nikki, but like a lot of young black women. It just, it, it really did not sit right with me, especially because it was about Cardi. Like it was just, ugh, no, that shit frustrated me because it just seemed like they were going off of what they thought would have made them look good. And it kind of, felt like they were just waiting for something else to come other than Nikki so they were like fake acting with her and then as soon as something happened to cause some ripple in the community all of a sudden now it's fuck Nikki and that shit never sat right with me because my thing is like if you don't like Nicki Minaj you don't like Nicki Minaj like she's gonna be an acquired taste I get it but don't sit there and act like you gave a shit until it wasn't cool anymore. That's fucking ridiculous. And I can't stand that. Don't do that. I'm still mixing these paints. That's the crazy part. I'm still out here mixing these paints. I'm trying to make sure that this is light enough. I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. I don't want to make it too light because there's going to be a color. There's going to be like two colors above it. I might even bring in some pinks. I love to bring in some pinks. That might have to be my signature. It's so cute. For some reason, everyone in my family thinks I hate pink. I don't know what's up with that. Because I don't think I've ever said that. I mean, I might be wrong. Because I sometimes I just be saying shit. If you know me, I just be saying shit. Oh my god, I have two palette knives. Since when do I have two palette knives? That's new. Good to know. I did not know that at all. Don't laugh in my ear. That song had a, had a laugh track on it. It's gonna, it's not gonna make sense later. Um, okay. This is my favorite water cup, and it makes me want to get rid of all of my shitty water cups and get new ones. Isn't that so cute? I think we got this salt from like Home Goods. And now I want to go to Home Goods and get a bunch of cute snacks in cute jars, and then use the jars as, um, paint jars because my other jars you can't even see it it's all the way over there they're like you know when you go to a baseball game I've never been to one but I have a bunch of these cups and like you get a drink and it's in this baseball cup it's ugly and all of my paint cups are like that and I feel like I need to upgrade oh my god that shit's so good all right I don't I need to test out these colors because I don't know how dark this is how dark this is Oh, okay, that's not bad. I think it's off from this. Cause I think it's a little bit more muted, but it'll be all right. It's the underlayer, anyways. Like nobody's gonna notice unless you watch the stream, then you'll notice.
Oh my god, I have green on my hand. Ugh. I'm technically not supposed to be drinking coffee. Because I'm having issues with my wisdom teeth. And they're like... In the way. And my mouth is like doing that thing that's like hurts and is kind of gross. And so I'm not supposed to be drinking coffee until I get them taken out. But the consultation's not until two weeks from now. And I'm not waiting two weeks to drink coffee. So I think I might do cold coffees until I get them out. Which is fine, especially because I've discovered this. But... I don't know. I'm just kind of scared. I hope it doesn't hurt too bad. My fear, I have this irrational fear of waking up while I'm supposed to be sedated. And so, like, I'm, like, in a surgery or something. And I wake up before they're done. And so they're, like, in my mouth with, like, pulling my teeth out. And all of a sudden I'm awake. That's got to be, like, top three worst fears of mine. Ugh, I just hate how runny my nose is. It's just so runny. <sighs> I love spring, though. Spring would be my favorite season if I wasn't allergic to it. I just find it so offensive because my sister's not allergic to anything. She's allergic to, like, one thing and it's, like, barely. And she could avoid it. Whereas, like, I'm allergic to everything. I'm allergic to the season I was born in. I'm allergic to animals. I, I'm i literally, I haven't eaten fruits and vegetables for the last two weeks or last week and a half. Because I'm having my wisdom teeth issue. And so there's, like, an open sore in my mouth. TMI, but, like, there is. And I'm allergic to fruits and vegetables. So I haven't been eating fruits and vegetables. I can eat them cooked, but I can't eat them raw. And it's like, you can't really get the nutrients from them if they're cooked as well as you can raw. I also hate cooked vegetables. It's so disgusting to me. I know that's like kind of crazy, but I just feel like raw vegetables are better. Um, and fruits, if you cook a fruit, it like it, it what was the point? So I haven't really been eating fruits and vegetables, so I kind of feel like shit all the time. And I had myself eat some broccoli the other day, but then my mouth started, like, having an allergic reaction. And so, usually I don't eat a lot of fruits and vegetables during the spring season because I'm already having allergy issues. But then you also put on the fact that my mouth is sensitive now. So now I can't eat fruits and vegetables. And it's like, how am I supposed to stay healthy if I can't eat fruits and vegetables? I'll never understand. I think if I'll have one question for God, it's why did you make me allergic to fruits and vegetables? Like, that'll be my one question. He'll be like, any questions for me? Yeah, like, what What was that for? Because I believe everything happened for a reason. Why am I allergic to fruits and vegetables? I just want to know. Maybe there was a reality where I ate a poisonous apple or something. And I, like, wasn't supposed to die that way. So God was like, to keep her from doing that, we'll just make her allergic to it. I don't know. Maybe I was supposed to discover something, but in order to discover it, I had to be allergic to fruits and vegetables. I could not tell you. I really wish I wasn't allergic to, um, animals, though. I love animals and I have this dream of like living on a farm or whatever and I always have me and my family have always talked about it as I was growing up about having like goats and stuff and I had a lot of neighbors that had goats and chickens and my sister has chickens and she lives on a farm and so I just like like that's what I want in life but I actually need to make a um Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, but I can't have... I can't do farm animals. And I learned that at a very young age. I remember 
those field trips where you would go on, what are they called? Like farms? No, petting zoos. Petting zoos. They would have petting zoos at these farms and you'd go on these field trips. Um, and I remember I went to one and I was so excited. There was like a corn maze. There was a pumpkin patch. It was during fall, my favorite season. And my best friends were there. And I have pictures of it too and we're so cute. But the only real memory I have from that day was we were sitting on the bleachers after the petting zoo part. And I was, I think it was with my dad and we were waiting for like a show and all of a sudden my entire face blows up and I'm like itching my eyes and he's like, stop touching your eyes. And I'm like, okay. And then he looks at me and I'm like, I can't see my eyes were whoop, crazy. Um, and then we ended up having to go home. And I cried because I was like, I wanna, I wanna stay. But I was, my allergic reaction was so bad. And so I've never been, I don't think I've been to a petting zoo since. But I do know I'm still allergic to uh, animals. I've been around horses. I'm allergic to horses, apparently. I used to ride horses when I was younger. Like at a camp, I went to this horse riding camp. Um, did not have a good time. Genuinely hated it. I'm also allergic to hay. So that was not helping either but at least i didn't have to carry the hay because i was allergic to it um allergic to cats guinea pigs rabbits you know pretty much anything with hair Except for dogs, because I don't think you can be allergic to dogs. I think that's, like, a whole thing where with dogs, you can only be allergic to the saliva or the dust that they carry on their fur. Because people are always like, I'm allergic to dogs. I don't like, no, baby, you're allergic to dust, and those people probably don't wash their dog. That's literally what it is. I was talking to my friend, and she was like, I'm not allergic to animals at all, but when I go over to these, like, one person's house i'm always allergic to their pets and it's because they don't wash them wash your dogs and your pets okay i am noticing that this color is a little bit too blue so i'm gonna put some more magenta in it my paints are dying it's my least favorite part about painting with acrylic i think i'm still used to painting with oils even though i haven't painted with oils in a long time but the way that i mix paints i paint it like i'm mixing with oils and i think i need to learn a different way to mix my paints because it's just not working this way people oh my god i saw i'd be seeing like tips and tricks and stuff on tiktok and they're always like just add water and I'm like, I don't think you understand like that's not helping anyone Okay, so I did more magenta Is that too magenta? Maybe let me look let's try it out because maybe it needs to be too magenta. I don't really remember what color I did. Oh! Yeah. I need to do more magenta. Okay, that means I have mad magenta at literally everything else, too. So you're going to get some more magenta. And you need to stop drying. Do you guys see that? Um, I saw that. Uh, what's it called? Lo-fi girl. Okay, so there was like a whole lore or whatever. There was something happening with Lo-fi girl, and it was like a countdown, and it was like a what's going on, and I just want to know what the people who were watching Lo-fi girl at the time felt, because I always had this idea. We're taking a break for a second because I need to explain this. In my mind, it would have been genius 
genius and a little bit evil for a lo-fi girl to abuse their power and animate the girl like stopping and then looking up at the camera and then just like staring into your soul and then it like zooming in on her and it just gets like really creepy and they can have like fun with it they can do whatever they want with it but like they just have so much power because everyone around the world was watching lo-fi girl and so at any point they could have animated something different in and just like truly fucked with people because nobody thought that it was gonna change everybody thought it was just gonna like stay her so pretty much what happened was is what i understand and that at some point i think her cat walked off screen or something i don't remember what happened first either her cat walked off screen first or she looked up first but she was like doing her work and then all of a sudden she was looking at this blue window that her cat's always looking at and then and then because i don't know if they animated transitions i don't think they did i think it was like a jump cut but I digress. So then all of a sudden her and the cat were gone and it was just this room that she was sitting in, but she wasn't there. And then slowly over the time, the camera was like zooming in on this window and it took like a day or two for it to fully zoom in. And then it got to the window and then there was two streams. And at this point, I had figured out what happened. There's a second lo-fi person, right? And there's a lo-fi world because they were promoting this lo-fi world. So I'm like, okay. So. Yeah. And so, anyways, I had found out that this was happening 20 minutes before the countdown ended. There was a whole countdown on the second channel, and then on the Lo-Fi Girls channel, it was just you looking at this random blue room. And I had assumed that it was just Lo-Fi Boy, right? Because that makes sense. If you're promoting a Lo-Fi world, there's obviously going to be a Lo-Fi Boy first. Anyways... So the boy comes in, he sits down, and the two streams are showing you two different versions of his room. So it's, like, the version that, like, is from the window of what Lo-Fi Girl will be seeing, and then the actual, what the stream is going to be looking like, where he's sitting in front of the window like Lo-Fi Girl is, but opposite. And, like, he plays, like, sci-fi Lo-Fi, which is so cute. I love that. My husband was so excited because he was like, oh my gosh, this is lo-fi I actually like. So, and then his stream continues and her stream zooms back out a lot faster. And we get back to her place. She comes and sits back down. And then the stream starts again as nothing ever happened. But like, no, that was so cool to me though. Because lo-fi girl has been on since what, middle school for me? For a very long time. And, uh, it's just so great. I'm really excited for Lo-Fi World, though. I'm, like, super freaking excited. Because I feel like they could do so much with it. I think there could be, like, crossovers. You know Chill Hop? I don't know if anybody's really into Lo-Fi like that. I'm, like, very well-versed in the Lo-Fi World. For some reason, I think I just went through a lot of school. And I've listened to a lot of lo-fi. Chill Hop is my favorite just because they have really cute animations. And they have reoccurring characters that, like, actually live life in the videos. And they're not, like, complex animations. They're just really cute and homey. And they feel like they have a lot of characters in them. Not that lo-fi girl doesn't have a character to her. But we kind of have to assume who she is, where she is, what's her story, where she's at. Also, am I crazy or did there used to be a train in Lo-Fi Girl? There used to be a train, right? Like in the background and it would like go around this mountain. I swear there used to be a train. I don't think there's a train anymore. 
Like, I know for a fact there was a train. I think they change that background every once in a while. I think I just never notice until I'm looking for something. But anyways, I hope they do end up bringing in a lot more characters with different themes. I think it would be so cute. And then they could have crossovers where they kind of mix the genres. Ugh. There's just so many ideas. I really love the lo-fi community. It's just so interesting. It's just so well done. I really, I just really like animation. Yeah, the lo-fi world kind of invites these new creative animations because you need something to watch while you listen. I think that's like my favorite genre of stuff is just like something you can either watch or listen to and it kind of just calms you. If you've ever seen... I'm really struggling with these colors right now. Um, If you've ever seen Midnight Gospel, that is one of the things that I really like because it's like, it's a podcast, but it has an animation going at the same time. And the animation has nothing to do with the podcast, not even a little bit. It's one of those things that you kind of would usually watch high. I've never watched it sober, but I might try to because I just want to see what it's like. But, oh. When I used to watch it, you would get, like, stuck in it in, like, in, like, the best way possible. And I really like that. But they never came out with a second season, and I don't know if they're going to anymore because they talked about doing it, and he had plans to do it. But I think the first key season came out during the pandemic, and I think it was a whole thing. Um, and I still hope that they'll come out with another season and I will 100% be there for that second season. But I don't even smoke anymore, but I might just to watch that show. But I'm sure it is fun to watch sober too. It's just something you'd put on at night if you're like struggling to sleep or you just want to watch something that's like very calm, relaxing. It's kind of just a conversation. It's kind of just like watching two people have a conversation, like an interesting one, as they fight a bunch of, like they deal with a bunch of like creatures in animated form. It's very cool. I want to watch it now that I'm talking about it. I think I might later. So because I can't match these colors well for some reason, I'm going to bring in this color to the other ones too. To just try to uh, tie everything in a little bit more. It's a trick that I do when I literally can't match colors. Sometimes I'm really good at matching colors and sometimes I'm just too lazy to figure it out. And what, that's it's just one of those days where I just don't care enough to figure it out. So... That's okay. As a painter, you learn how to adapt to things, and you don't really stress over little things like mismatched color because you can figure out a solution to figuring that out. It's my favorite thing about being an artist because it's the mindset that I live by of just, I will literally just figure it out. And I know it frustrates a lot of people. I got married a month ago. I think a month as of today, I think. What's today? Yeah, a month as of today. As of today, I've been married for a month. Um, and it was it was a last minute wedding. It was a wedding that was going to be originally an elopement. And we decided to wait a month, do counseling, and have family there. And a lot of people were like, oh, we'll help out. We'll do stuff. And in my mind, I'm like, I thought we were just going to show up, get married, and go. But people wanted to do stuff and treat us, and it was really sweet. And so the entire way up until literally the wedding starting, people were asking me questions, and I was like, I don't know, I'll figure it out. I remember I showed up to the church. I showed up to the church not knowing what my hair was going to look like. I hadn't retried all my dress. I didn't know what my makeup was going to look like. Um, I had done my nails the night before. They were press ons and I just put a bunch of gems on them. Um, my life motto is literally, I will just figure it out. 
I promise you I'll be fine. Like, don't stress over me because I'll just figure it out. And I don't think people understand that. And I think that it stresses people around me out. And I think it's something I'm going to have to work on for other people. Because, but like, my question is, should I change the way that I view life? to fit what everybody else wants because it's not a black or white question because yes I'm okay with being like okay I'll just figure it out when it comes when the time comes I'll I'll do it um but with other people around me they're being affected by my choices and so if I don't make a choice until last minute now they are affected last minute as well and so I feel bad a lot of the time when like People need something from me or need an answer from me. And I'm like, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Like, I truly do not know. But it's just kind of my brain works. It just doesn't really allow me to think ahead of time. I've tried my entire life. And I'm continuing to try, especially with trying to run my own art business. Because I have to plan ahead for that. I can't just do it as it comes. But I will generally just figure it out. It's like my favorite saying. I don't, I'm trying to not stress about stuff that I can't control anymore. So if I feel like I don't have control over it in the moment, I'm not going to. Whatever happens, happens. If I feel like I cannot make an effective decision, I'm not going to make that decision. At least not in the moment, not until I'm ready to make that decision. But I don't know. I'm also an adult now, though. I'm like a grown woman. I'm married. And I feel like it's something that I have to adapt to to live in the world we live in. I just don't want to. I really don't like how... Specifically, the U.S. is built off of one specific type of thinking because it's not the way that I think at all. I think that if you love a craft, you should be able to take your time with it and really delve into it. I don't think things should be rushed. I don't think that everything has to do with money and I don't think that the only things that you should focus on are the things that will benefit your financial position and like people are gonna be like well that's a really privileged thing to say and I understand that but it's also just something that I wish that our country wasn't built on to begin with and that's what I mean by that I don't think it's like like I'm not gonna go to someone who's working their ass off and be like you're living your life wrong Because you're living your life how you have to live your life. That's just things that we have to do. I mean, I do it. I'm not saying I don't. I just wish we didn't have to. I wish that trading was a lot bigger than... You know? I feel like we should really... I, I should look into that one woman who had traded a bobby pin. And she had ended up like... She got, like, all the way up. She got a house, I think. I think she bought a house. And she was like, I'm gonna keep going. And I think it's so interesting. And I feel like there's something to that. I feel like we could do that as a society. Just start trading stuff. Like, say I have a house. And you have an RV. And say, now I want an RV and you need a house. And we're like, wanna trade? I just feel like that should be a thing. Because I feel like I have things that I don't need and you have things that you don't need, but I want what you want and you want what I want. So why can't we just trade it? Why do I now have to, like, do a bunch of stuff? I've been thinking a lot about that. About, like, how stuff doesn't really make sense. Because in my mind, I think of life in terms of the world itself and then like spirituality and so when I think of like how the government controls everything it doesn't make any sense to me my husband and I were driving the other day 
and I, I forgot how the conversation came up. We were talking about land. Oh, I was talking about how I don't understand why I have to go through a bunch of hoops to build something in my backyard if it's not affecting anybody else but me and the people in my house. Because I was like, I'd want to build, I don't remember what I wanted to build. I'm going to say an art studio because that's what I've wanted to do in my backyard for my life. And I was talking about that and I was like, but if I were to build an art studio in my backyard, I would have to contact the local government and have them do a bunch of tests and then essentially watch me do it so that, you know what I mean? Like there'd have to be like contractors and like shit like that. And I couldn't just build it from my bare hands and, and that be that. And then he was like, what's stopping me from owning the land that we're on right now? And I'm like, it's government property. And he was like, what does that mean, though? And I'm like, I don't know. But it is. That's just how the world works right now. And it's probably always going to work. And I think it's just so interesting that people fight over land that doesn't exist, like, isn't theirs. That land is not yours. You, as a human being, do not own a piece of land. That shit makes no sense. Like, don't don't come to me with that. Oh, where is... <sighs> okay, so I think I'm going to start bringing in some green. We're still focusing on this area of the trees because I really want to see what I want to do with it really um we're not done with the purple but I do want to bring in a little bit of green so I'm gonna mix the my raw umber green and some white I think I actually added too much white so I'm gonna to have to add more green and raw umber This brown is just so thin. It doesn't do anything. It's really frustrating. I'm going to have to go and buy some more paint from Golden. Oop. Get out of my way. TikToks used to be 15 seconds, didn't they? Or did I just make that up? Is that a thing? I think about Vine. I'm really scared for the future generation. Like, I'm super concerned for them in, like, all ter like all terms of the of the of their life because i feel like the ones who are knowledgeable on what's going on in the world are like i don't have a promised future like what are we doing here and i think i feel like a lot of them have given up but i could also be wrong because i don't talk to people in that generation at least the older ones when does gen z end well, who's the oldest of the gen alpha are they like 10? I feel like they're like 10. Because if I'm 23. Damn. I'm 23. I'm 22. That's a bold ass lie. I'm 22. I said 23. I don't even know how old I am. It's 2023. That's what I was thinking of. I was like, I don't think I'm 23. 23 is kind of old. I'm not 23. I'm 22. That's so old. My gosh. I'm really, like, growing up. I saw a childhood friend, mother, 
of mine a few weeks ago and her daughter I want to say is like a junior or a senior in high school now and I was like damn you're making me feel really old and her mom was like well you are and I was like don't say that to me do not say that to me I feel like I already had my quarter life crisis though hopefully Let's hope. I actually don't really want to work on that part because I'm going to paint it. Uh, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Just separate it. Just won't paint over it. It's fine. This is going to look so cute. I'm so excited for this. I think I'm going to actually put some like other textures in this green and do like leaves and stuff. I also kind of want to add some branches over here. I think that would be really nice. I'm really excited for that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to paint. Do you ever get like, do you ever do something you're passionate about? <laughs> and you get, you like start to do it and you get so excited that like, it like, it makes you not run out of breath a little bit, but just makes you so excited. You're like, ah, I can see it coming together. My talents. My practice. It's all gonna be for something. I love to paint. You know, my entire life, I always wanted to be one of those people who knew what they wanted to do. And I remember I was even talking to my sister about it when she went to college. And she was, I was essentially talking about her. Because she's, like, really into horses and, like, barns and animals. And so she always knew that she wanted to work with horses. That's what she always wanted to do from a young age. Um, and I didn't necessarily know I wanted to be an artist yet. Um, I knew that I liked art. But I also wanted to be impressive in what I did. And so I always focused on, like, computer design, coding. I took a lot of coding camps. Coding camp was always annoying. Because you always learn the same damn thing. You'd always learn the HTML, like, C++ type shit. And it was always, like... Create a website where it counts numbers and does addition. And now I can do subtraction. And it's like, baby girl, I wanted to make games. Like, what are we doing here? Um, I keep mixing other paints into my paint on accident. It's just me not being vigilant with what I'm doing. But I always wanted, I was, I was focused on doing computer stuff for so long, but I knew I wasn't passionate about it. I know I just like, liked math and coding was kind of easy once you figured it out. It was just kind of a lot and I didn't like it and I really did not enjoy my time in coding and I did it for like six years, maybe five, maybe five years. Um, I'm out of breath. I talk too much. But yeah. Um, but I had done coding for so long that I kind of got distracted by what I actually wanted to do. And so I, I remember seeing her in college and I was like, I really wish that was one of those people who just knew what they wanted to do, knew what their passion was and where they wanted to go. And she was like, I really can't tell you because I'm one of those people. And I was like, I know, I know you are. Um, and then years went on and I met my art community in high school and they were great. They're the only reason why I ever went to class. 
and I realized I wanted to be an artist. But I still was stuck in this mindset of impressing people. So I still wanted to do game design. Because um, I wanted to seem smart. And I think it, it had to do with the fact that I just wasn't good at school. But I knew that I wasn't stupid. But then the pandemic hit. And I think by this point, I had already switched my major to production design. But I still didn't see painting and being a traditional artist as a lifestyle even though I was watching artists on YouTube and then the pandemic hit and the art community like broke open and there was so many opportunities so many ways for artists to make it even like freelancing and I was like yeah that's it that's the passion that's what I want to do and it was a great feeling. It's just, it's not an easy path and it's very stressful. I'm just so glad I have the community I do around me because I always thought that people were going to be judgmental of my choice and people were going to be like, that's kind of impractical. But then I forgot that I also come from a family who loves art and everybody like is so supportive and they're like, paint something for me, like I'll commission you. And, and I didn't have the confidence yet. And I still kind of don't. And so I haven't done my commissions. And a lot of my family wants commissions by me, but I'm afraid to. A part of me is kind of just afraid to let them down. But I'm going to get like one or two more paintings out for my portfolio. And then also doing commissions, I think. I say that every time. <laughs> but soon. Maybe it's these paints that give me a headache. I always get a headache when I paint. <gasps> it might be my headphones too, though. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, my throat itches. I felt like straight shit this morning. I thought I was sick. I woke up to go to work and I was called out. I can't imagine what it's like for my bosses because I wake up at like 4.30 in the morning to go to work and my shift starts at 5.30. Um, and I can't imagine if somebody like called out before your 5.30 a.m. shift. Because I'd be sick if somebody did that. I'm going to do some yellow in my green. I want a yellow green. I love yellow green. Like a chartreuse. Oh, I love a chartreuse. Not a lot of people know what a true chartreuse is. I think it's very interesting. I'm not doing chartreuse right now. Don't expect a true chartreuse. But that's the inspiration we're going for. I saw someone refer to just like a light green as chartreuse the other day. I was like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. Church says that to be like one of my favorite colors. It's just always stuck with me. I also feel like it's one of those colors where like everybody knows for some reason. Oh. I had to close all my windows to do this stream and it makes me sad because I really like to look outside the window. I'm going to start streaming from the other angle. Oh, I could do that. I don't know why I didn't. That's definitely an option. Nice. Let me get some popcorn. I kind of want some snacks.
I think the green needs to come up a little bit more. I went to go see the Mario movie. And it was cute. I actually really enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy the experience. That's a whole different story, though. I... Anyways. Um, the only thing I didn't like about the movie was the voice acting. And I knew I was going to hate it. And I went in with an open mind because I only knew about Chris Pratt and I just decided not to look at anybody else. But I did hear that it was like very much so movie star heavy and they were only cast because they were movie stars. And then Jonah Hill came up on the fucking screen. I think it was Jonah Hill. Let me make sure it was Jonah Hill. I might be absolutely wrong. What is... It's one of those, um, Seth Rogen. That's the name I was looking for. Seth Rogen. I always mix them up a little bit. They don't, they don't look alike. They just kind of give the same energy. Seth Rogen. Yes. Seth Rogen came up on the screen because he played Donkey Kong. But the entire time I was only imagining Seth Rogen and it was driving me a little bit insane. I high-key hated it. Um, I think, and it would have been scandalous. It would have been, it would have been a crazy reaction. I still believe that Berlizzi should have been Donkey Kong. I fully believe that. I think he would have done a great Donkey Kong. I think he would have played the shit out of Donkey Kong. But it wouldn't have made any sense. I also don't think there's black people in the cast. I'm, like, pretty positive. And something about making the only black actor... Yeah, of the of the big parts, there's no... Oh, no. Keegan Michael Key played Toad. Okay. Um... But having one of the two black actors play the monkey, it would have rubbed people the wrong way. But I think that the casting would have been great. I don't think he would have been able to play off of everybody as well because they're movie stars and he's a YouTuber. But in my mind, I just don't think that they should have done movie stars. I think the reason why Hollywood is not as good as it used to be is because they're only focusing on movie stars. And so every single movie just has the same, like, group of people. And I'm tired of seeing them. I want to be able to see something not because somebody I know was in it. I want to be able to see something because of the story that is that movie. And that's just not how things are right now. And it's actually really ugly and annoying. And they need to fix it. I'm very glad I didn't go into the film industry. I originally went into production design to be in film, and I was going to study cinema studies as my minor, but it's impossible to get into that class, so I never took it. Or I, I took the class because I had to, but I didn't take anything other than that. I also didn't really care for that class. I will say, side note, cinema studies is the only history class that focused a lot on black history. There was a lot of black film and black media taught in that class which i really did appreciate and it wasn't it didn't seem like he was just doing it because um it was black history month and he had to teach it or something like that like he genuinely made a lot of the curriculum about black art and that's amazing to me because that doesn't happen like ever the bar is so low we literally talked about black people for like two weeks straight out of the 10 weeks, which is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. So. I'm telling you, the bar is on the floor. The bar is in hell. It always has been. I just, I would pay more attention in class if y'all didn't only talk about white people. And I mean that. I feel so bad for the people in the South. Oh my gosh. We're not going to talk about it. I'm not talking politics on this channel, but... Damn.
I actually might just do straight brown for those deep tones because they're really not showing up. Just kidding, I hate that. I hate that. I really want to finish Harry Potter. Ugh. I want to finish Harry Potter so bad. I'm trying to figure out, though, if I should finish the movies before I read the books. Because I've started reading the books and they're so good. Because I think the ending's the same, but I think, like, the details in here, they're obviously different. Because that's how people do stuff. Because I read Hunger Games before I watched the movies. Because they weren't out yet. I think Hunger Games is going to be the thing that ages me. You know how, like, all old people, not old people, but, like, everyone over the age of 40 has something that ages them? And they're like, I was there when this started and came out. I was there when internet was invented. Um, Hunger Games is going to be it for me. I'm like, you know, I went to the opening of Catching Fire. Like, I was there. And they're like, that movie's been out for like 30 years, mom. I'm so excited for that. For my kids to age me. Mom, you're so old. I'm just excited to be like that parent that's like, you don't know nothing about this. Whenever a song comes on. Yum. I've been painting this section for so long. That's just, that's how I work. I don't know what to tell you. You're really getting, like, a bright version of this. Oh, coffee break. Hold on. I think you need to get some snacks soon. Oh, that is so good. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to bring some more greens up into here. Actually, let me bring some more deeper brown green. You shouldn't mix your paints with like those small brushes, but I do it all the time because I don't treat my paints well. Treat your paints better than me. Your paint brushes. My paint brushes are so abused. They always have been. I usually just buy new ones, but they're getting expensive and I'm starting to like not just use the cheap paint brushes anymore because I actually know the difference now and I can't go back. Um, also I use these like really tiny ones. Um, and so I can't just like rebuy paint brushes every single time one dries out. Like I need to actually take care of them. It's just that I be washing my paints, my paint brushes, and then I come back and they're stiff and I'm like, I know for a fact I washed you. So what's the issue? I need to find my my pink cleaner. I actually don't know where that is. I also want to get one of those things where it has a little thing at the bottom. I want one so bad. I think they're only like ten dollars, but I don't know. I refuse to ever treat myself to things I actually need. Or want rather. Things I want. <sighs> I really hope that when I end up moving, I get a bigger studio. I really love this studio and I'm super appreciative because my studio used to be a desk in my room and then it was in the basement, which was part of a common area and I used to hate it because if I was trying to paint or have a paint night with myself and do whatever and even like video and do stuff like that, um, I couldn't because there would be people in a common area. And it was really frustrating because I didn't like being around the people in my house at the time. And 
It was annoying, but I also couldn't really get annoyed because it was a common area and I can't hog it. It just so happened that my studio was in that common area. And technically I was supposed to share my studio, but the other artist in the house wasn't sharing it with me. Like they just never used it. So I kind of took over and called it my studio and nobody was allowed in it. Like you could store your stuff in it, but that was about it. It was my studio at that point. Also, because this is like my livelihood, like I can't share my creative space with someone who is also not creating as a livelihood. It's just a different energy that you admit because, you know, at least long term, I love inviting people to my studio to paint. It's so great. I like painting with people who usually wouldn't paint otherwise or like would be too afraid to. And I'm like, I have so much stuff. Like, you can just paint with me. Um, I actually kind of want to bring some green down here. Is that crazy? I think that would look nice. Like, maybe some right here. Let me look at the reference photo again. That might be a little crazy. Um... Should I just make these all purple? I originally was going to have them have, like, green. But I might just have, like, green spurts here and there. I think I'm going to make most of it purple. So you see how, like, in this reference photo... Oh, don't look at that. In this reference photo, there's, like, a little bit of green right here. But the rest of it's purple. I think I want to do something like that. Where I still have, like... You know, I'm excited to come over to this side soon. Actually, I might now. Or should I just work on this half first and then move over? Because usually I do back to front, but today for some reason I'm doing front to back. I don't know why. Um, But I also haven't finished this house. So actually, we're going to stay on this side and work more on this side. I do want to, if I may... Bring in some more light purple, make it a little bit pink, and make it a little bit lighter. Also, my paints are drying. I love that sound. Um, I need some more magenta. Oh, man, I'm sleepy. I was exhausted today. This morning, I could not get out of bed. I've been trying to get up at 4 or like 4.15 so that I can like get ready for work, actually look presentable for work. And then also hold on. And then like do some like morning planning in the iPad or read or do something productive to start off my day so that I feel productive for the rest of the day. Because however you start your day is what you're going to want to do for the rest of the day. That's a psychological thing. Like, if you start your day on the phone, you're going to want to be on your phone all day. If you start your day with TikTok, you're going to want to be on TikTok all day. That's why I don't really go on social media first thing in the morning. If I do, I go on Pinterest. Because I feel like it's a creative social media, so I'm still, like, working that creative bone in me that's like straight magenta that is not at all what i wanted but that's what we got so it's what we're gonna work with i'm gonna split you <laughs> Um, anyway, so, but I was exhausted this morning. I don't know what it was. I didn't get out of bed until, like, 4.50. And mind you, I leave the house at, like, 10, 10, I mean, 5, 10. At the latest, usually. I didn't end up leaving until 5.15. And then on the way out of the street that I live on, like, the main road... I hear a slight popping sound and all of a sudden my tire pressure light comes on and I'm like, oh shit, now we got a flat tire coming along. 
And so then my anxiety starts working up and I think that the car is sinking and I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's unstable. I can't. So I pull over at a Wawa and I look at my tire and I'm like, oh my gosh, my tire is going to get flat. Oh my gosh, it's flattening. I could literally see it flattening. I should, I should, I could call off of work. I could tell them that my tire is flat. I don't know what to do. My tire was fine. I think it does have a nail in it, but like, it'll be fine. Um, and so I end up getting to work 15 minutes late, 15 minutes before opening, I get to work and I'm just out of it. I feel sick because of how bad my allergies have been. And so I end up having tea this morning instead of coffee and I made sure to have caffeinated tea. It wasn't enough. People who say, tell coffee drinkers to just drink tea, you're a fucking liar. Um, it doesn't work. I think unless you have like a green tea refresher where it has like a lot of tea in it, maybe, but it's for a coffee drinker. I feel like the only options are coffee and energy drinks because of how much we're used to. And so I was just out of it all morning. Like my coworkers were genuinely like, are you okay? Like, are you all right? Um, yeah, I was out of it. And then I came home, I took a shower and immediately passed out. Like, and then my husband came and he talked about his day and then he was like, okay, I'm leaving the house in like an hour ish, like 30 minutes to an hour. And I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Tell me why this man wakes me up. Next thing I know, this man is waking me up and he's like, oh, I'm leaving. And I was like, whoa, huh? I fell asleep without even knowing I fell asleep. I was so tired today and I still am, but I told myself I was going to paint today. So we're painting today. I think I'm going to make Tuesdays and Thursdays paint stream days. I'm going to stream every Tuesday and Thursday that I can actually, oh shit. I can't do Thursdays. I have a place to be on Thursdays. Oh damn. Cause I thought about doing Thursdays cause I felt like that made more sense. Cause I don't go in the, I don't go to the gym on Thursdays and I can't do this Wednesday. I gotta see if my friend's coming. Cause I don't know if she still is. If she isn't, I'll do tomorrow. But if she is, I will do Friday. Cause I, I'm off on Friday. So we could do a morning stream on Friday. Oh, that would be great. That would be a good time. Okay. I might do that. We will see. Cause Thursdays are kind of like a lot for me. I kind of forgot about that. There's just too much going on. Like half of my life is in Virginia and I don't live in Virginia. And it's not the easiest thing in the world. Okay, so how it oh, that was a close one. How it looks on here is that it's darker at the points and lighter at the top. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I do that that way. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, I'm just making noises. So we got my purples. <gasps> Yum! It's muy bien, muy delicioso. I really want to learn Spanish. I've taken Spanish at least six times. At least, minimum six times. And I know the very, very basics of Spanish. I don't know the conjugations. I know some vocab. I know like some basics up like 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 tener is like tango, tenga, tenemos.
Kangas. I think I might be wrong about that. It's just like I think my issue was that it was so different from English, like the way that it's structured, the way that the language is, that it was hard for me to understand what the point was. Because if I say yo tener el libro, you know what I'm talking about. You have I have a book, right? But I have to say el ta- or yo tengo because that's the correct conjugation. But my thing is like if I'm talking to someone who speaks Spanish and I don't use my conjugations, you're gonna know I don't speak Spanish, but you know you're gonna know what I'm saying. I talk to people who English is a second language that they've learned recently all the time. And you can tell that they don't really speak English like that. But I'm not going to be here and say, actually, it's turn off the light, not close the light. <laughs> like, I know what you're saying to me. I know what you're asking. And that's all that needs to be known. And so I get it for like school and whatnot, but I just need to be able to communicate at the very minimum. And we can learn about conjugations, but I just feel like it being the biggest part of Spanish class used to piss me the fuck off because it's the least important part to me, I think. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I have to speak Spanish to understand, but I just feel like you're going to know what I mean. Oh yeah, this this cascading effect that we're doing here, it's really helping. Oh yeah, that looks gorgeous on camera. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. It's like I'm an artist or something. It's like this is my livelihood and this is what I do every single day for the last two years. <sighs> I wish my high school self painted a lot more. Like, she was an AP art or whatever, but she finished that, um, the, I think the concentration. She finished a quarter of her portfolio the night before it was due. I got a four on it. Um, I honestly probably deserved a three. I could have gotten a five if I actually tried, but I, um, pushed it off to last minute pulled all nighter the night before and then it just so happened that two of my best pieces were done that night though it's just it's my talent i'm really good at um doing things last minute i think that's an artist thing though again it's just how our mind works it's the i'll figure it out mentality it's full circle like i truly will just figure it out people are like you don't have your portfolio done. It's due tomorrow. I say, chill. I'm not going to practice tonight. Watch me. I didn't have practice at the time. But I wasn't doing anything that night. I said, give me a monster and some chips. Give me a tombstone pizza. And a ginger ale. And I'll have it done by morning. And I did. I had monster. I think I did have a tombstone pizza. I think that's that's true. Um, I don't know why I hate this one so much. I think it's just like the colors aren't really organized on it. And I think it's bothering me. I think it's starting to get like really muddy over there. Now this guy up here, I haven't even touched i kind of forgot about it but i do want to do like it dark right here winsteria are winsterias i feel like winsterias have not been in the dmv before this year everybody is talking about it like it's normal though People are like, guys, the moon stereos are blooming. 
I had lived in the DMV my entire life. I've never once seen a Winsteria. I missed the um, cherry blossoms this year, though. I'm really sad about it. They were literally blooming for like a week, if that. What had happened was, is the cherry blossoms bloomed. The festival started on March 25th. I got married on March 25th, so I couldn't go that weekend. The next weekend, um, by the next weekend, they were gone. I had taken off the Tuesday. So my wedding happened, and the bloom was full effect, right? A week. And then Tuesday, right here. Tuesday, right here. The Friday, no, the Saturday, there was a big windstorm, and then it rained. And then my aunt and my dad went to go see the cherry blossoms on the Sunday after the windstorm. Like, the Saturday windstorm, Sunday, they went. They said there was one singular cherry blossom tree that still had cherry blossoms on them. And they weren't even pink. They were white. Please. <laughs> like, I was so sad because I haven't been able to see the cherry blossoms in a very long time which I know a lot of people have never seen them but I live here and so last time I got to see them I think I was in high school I think I was a senior and I didn't get to see them the last three years because I was in college and so this year I was like oh yes I get to go see the cherry blossoms actually I could have gone to see it last year my 21st no my 20 my 20th I could have gone to see it but I didn't um, I was, I don't know, I wasn't in the mind, the headspace for it. I was actually really not doing well. But I did go to D.C. in April that year for my birthday. But the cherry blossoms were gone by then because they're usually gone by my birthday, which is unfortunate. They literally go away like two days before my birthday. It's really, it pisses me off. My birthday's on the 12th and they always stop blooming on the 10th. At the very, very latest. Usually it's around the 7th or 8th. This year... They ended in March. They didn't even make it to April, which is crazy to me. But I was going to go and I was going to like draw in the city and I was going to have a good old time and get some cherry blossom paintings, maybe even do like some stickers. I had so many ideas of doing cherry blossoms, but I needed inspiration. So I was going to go out and look at them, get some photos. There just wasn't meant to be this year. I don't know. God said it's not for you today. I was like, okay. I was concerned, though, because, again, my allergies have been kicking my ass all season. So, maybe the cherry blossoms would have, like, really fucked me up for the rest of the year. Because if I have a bad allergy attack, I'm fucked up for the rest of the year. For the rest of the um, summer. It just doesn't go away. It's really unfortunate. It's a curse. And I love nature, as you can see. So, I feel like a lot of the nature that I have to experience is through my painting because I can't really go out in it like that. How pretty. Bring some in over here. These trees are a little bit different from the ones that I usually do. Because usually I have like shapes inside of my trees. That's like my signature tree look. But because these are different trees, I'm not going to do that with them. I think this is, this is fine on its own. I don't want to add too much. I'm really working on editing rather than um, doing too much. I always have too many ideas and then I get stuck or I do too much and I hate it because it's too much going on. I want to look better if it was like a series rather than one just piece, which is why I'm struggling with that big painting I've been working on. I think I had too many ideas. I'm still going to do them and I want to implement them, but I have to make sure that I'm going about it in a tasteful manner or else it's not going to turn out good. And I think that's my biggest struggle right now. A part of me wants to finish some of this painting off stream so I can watch my show. I've been watching Sweet Life on Deck. I love Sweet Life on Deck. 
that's gotta be like one of my favorite shows. I don't know what I like more. I think I do like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody more. But Sweet Life on Deck just has a special place in my heart. It's just such a funny show. Especially when they start growing up a little bit. Oh my gosh, this shit's hilarious. I will say, Brenda Song carries that show. Oh my god, she's hilarious. And I don't even know if it's just the writers. I don't think it's just the writers. I think the way that she just plays London is just so funny. <laughs> I forgot why they didn't bring Maddie onto the ship. I think for one, it didn't really make sense because how would she have afforded it? Um, but they could have figured that out with like London giving her a scholarship or some shit like that. Um, I think that Ashley was doing other stuff though. I don't know what she was doing because she didn't have another show. I know she was doing Sharpay's Fabulous Adventure at some point. I feel like High School Musical wasn't done yet, though. I think she was still doing High School Musical at the time. But she did High School Musical while she was doing Sweet Life. So. I don't think that's the reason. I don't know why. I feel like it had to do with her scheduling, though. But maybe it was just they didn't have a part for her. Which but sucks, but I also think that the show would have been different if Maddie was there. Because you needed to let Zach go. Like, do what he needed to do. Um, and London without Maddie is kind of funny. Like, London was also funny, though, with Maddie. It's just a different dynamic because now she's just stupid. Like, she's stupid with nobody really being able to control her like that. Like, Bailey figures it out eventually, but... I think Maddie knew her too well for London to really thrive in her stupidity. She's got to be, like, one of my favorite dumb characters, though. Because she's not even, like, fully dumb. She just doesn't really be thinking. But, like, if she tries hard enough, like, she could. It's just really funny to me. I think it's like, if we want to get to the psychology of London Tipton, I think it has more to do with A, she wants attention, B, she doesn't believe in herself, so she puts herself down before she can even try, and so that's why when stuff happens where, like, people trick her into doing math and stuff, like, she can actually do it. She just can only do it if she's not thinking about it herself. And I think that she's so dumb and, like, so short attention span that she can fully manipulate and trick herself into doing stuff and she knows that she can. And, like, seeing things certain ways. I think it's a- I just- uh, Someone should do a case study on London Tipton. I would- I would watch a video on that. What is this color? Oh. That's the color I forgot over here. Is that a little drawing? Oh, uh, you know what? No, it's not. It's okay. I want to bring that color in eventually anyways, but that wasn't supposed to go over there yet. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I think I'm going to do some green out here. <gasps> Excuse me. Like that. Like so. And then we have some of this green. Let me bring that in. Like that. It's muy bien. Do 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 da da ch da 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 da.
Okay, it's not like half of this. I feel like I can make ice cubes with this cold brew too. A lot easier than making ice cubes with hot coffee. I was gonna put my ice cubes in this, my coffee ice cubes, but it's a different coffee and I didn't want to taint that. So, I might be a cold brew girl. I don't like iced lattes, that's what it is. I like a cold brew though, that's delicious. That shit's delicious. I love painting. I just wish I had more energy to do it. I gotta quit my job. I gotta paint in the mornings. I miss painting in the mornings. That's what I really miss. Waking up with coffee. Maybe like going to the gym first. Or just like... I miss being unemployed. I don't miss the lack of money. And the lack of stability. But I do miss being unemployed. I loved being unemployed. It was so great. And everybody was like, so what are you doing? What are you looking into? And I was like, I don't know. I'm enjoying unemployment for a second. You know, I never got the, um, the break during the pandemic. So I took my own break because when we went into lockdown, I went back to work. So what had happened was, is that I had come home from college because everybody got sent home and I was still in college. So I was still doing my work. And so it was essentially just being in school, but at home as we did for the last two years or whatever, or year and a half. And, um, so I was doing online school and then when online school ended, I decided that I didn't want to be in school for four years and that I needed to decide between dropping out or doubling up and graduating early. So I ended up taking summer classes and then stuff started opening up a little bit over the summer or something. I don't remember what happened. Like I was a receptionist at a wax salon. So for some reason, I think I was considered a uh, essential worker because that's the only reason that I was at work. It made no sense. I don't know why I was there because every things were still closed. Everything was still closed. So, but I was, I had my job back. So I was working as a receptionist as soon as school ended. Like literally the second school ended, I started working and going to summer school. And I was doing DoorDash because at the time DoorDash was great to work for because gas was a dollar and there was nobody on the road because nobody was outside. So there was no traffic ever. And people were tipping like crazy because people were not in the right mind space and yeah and they were just like trying to be nice with everybody <laughs> but but yeah so once I had got done with my classes I went back to school and I did that and then I never really got a break like everybody else got like everybody was like oh I'm so bored I have nothing to do and I'm like that's great for you enjoy that why are you complaining like now you can actually focus on the things that matter to you rather than the stuff that the country is forcing you to do and people weren't understanding that and I ended up being one of those people who like try to take advantage of the situation and get myself ahead of what I would previously do and I wish I didn't do that because I think that if I would have not gone to summer school, I think I would have dropped out of college. And I think I would have decided to be a full-time artist a lot sooner. Like that summer, I think I would have dropped out. Um, but I had a lot going for me when I was at that school. Like, like social-wise, like I was excited. And then it all kind of came burning, crashing, burning down. And my sophomore slash junior year kind of sucked. So it was like... By the time I was at my senior year, I was only there because I was almost done. If that was my junior year, I would have left. Because I knew I wanted to be an artist. I didn't want to be a production designer. Oh, sorry. Um, that's why I always motivate people to drop out. Unless you're doing it for, like, actual financial reasons and you need to, like, support your family 
um, and you don't really have any wiggle room, if you have a choice and you don't want to be there and you know that if you drop out, there's another option for you, or if you drop out, your family will, won't, like, collapse without your help with it, um, I always say drop out because why are you there? Um, if it's just to please someone, I don't know your family situation. You know better than I do, but if it's not going to be that bad, I say drop out. It's just the school isn't for everybody. It definitely wasn't for me. I know a lot of people it's not for. I'm planning on going back to school, but just because I need an education degree, but I might not even do it. I was just going to get my master's. I was going to get my master's real quick. Hold on. I got to get my master's real quick. Literally wasn't going to do it. But. I don't know. That's down the line. I hated school and I told everybody I would never go back. And then here's me thinking about going back. It's just that like. Life's hard out here for a pimp. You know? And I didn't know you needed an education degree to teach literal children art. Like math? Sure. Absolutely. Get your degree. Art? Not that art is like not a hard subject, but art's not a hard subject, especially for children. Art is literally just find your creativity. Let yourself free. Don't hold back. Don't think about what anybody else is thinking about you. It's not about them. This is your work. This is your creation. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Middle schools would be even easier because all I gotta do is put on a Bob Ross video. I'm not teaching middle schoolers. Absolutely not. I remember me in middle school. I'm so sorry to any teacher I had. I wasn't that bad. And a lot of those teachers were very mean to me, and I don't think I deserved it. They were, like, bitter from the first day, and that's that's what blew me. I remember, I remember I came into class, 8th grade, algebra class. I walked in when my friends was there. I was like, ah, oh, Michael! And she, he was like, oh, my God! Um, and immediately, my teacher was pissed off. She was like, sit down. I was like, first of all, it's day one. Second of all, this is my boy. And we have a class together. And we sit next to each other, please. But she did not like me for the first day. And I feel like if we started off better, we would have been fine. But because she didn't like me the first day, never gave me a chance. I never really gave her a chance. That's usually how it went. But those teachers don't deserve what they go through. So, I don't really, I don't really blame her. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. It's us still painting these damn trees. <laughs> I think I'm actually done with this section, though. I kind of want to add some pinks because I already have it mixed. Usually I'd wait till the end to do that. But I already have a mix, so we're just gonna do a little pinks here and there. And I might do some lighter pinks too, but I didn't want to bring more color in. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really like this mic suppressor because it, every single time I sigh, it takes it out. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's really great. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna have to work on this house a little bit more, but for now it's okay. Oh, I'm loving this so much.
Paint, 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 paint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, oh, nice. Sick, even. Sycamore. All right. So I think what I would want to do is have some, like, other trees peeking through up here and then having the purple continue behind. But because we're working from front to back, I'm going to sit and think about it, and I'm going to end up painting the other house next but i also kind of want to snap so i might take a break because i think i've been painting for two hours now let me look sees it's about to be two hours so at the two hour mark i think i'm gonna take a break okay pretty 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 i'm gonna keep it in frame so you can still look at the prettiness of that tree also that makes it look like it's like really depth that angle oh my gosh like that's really some depth perception right there i should photograph it from that angle <gasps> see my mic muted and you sighing again i appreciate that i need some more food all i had was a beef patty i did have food this morning though i had a muffin and a bagel from work it's just not it doesn't really have any substance to it though i kind of want to put a tombstone pizza in the oven because i was talking about tombstone pizzas earlier and now i kind of want a tombstone pizza i really usually get um pizza on tuesdays because the pizza spot that i always go to has buy one get one on tuesdays and then it feeds me my dad and my husband for like the next two days it's really great um but I've had it the last two weeks, so I don't think I want that. Oh. Also, because I'm the only one home, and I'm not eating two pizzas on my own. My goodness. Alright, so how do we want to do this house? Because I definitely want a porch just like this one, but I think I want it to have that the door in the center and then have like the two windows on the side like a normal house would have and then have a side window um, with a basket of flowers. I love, I'm a sucker for a side window with a basket of flowers. You should see my My Sims house. It's like all windows with baskets of flowers. Speaking of, there's a chance I might stream that tonight. Because I do like to play My Sims. I do love some My Sims. Me and you moving at the speed of light into eternity. Tonight is the night to something, something, something of ecstasy. Feel the music da, 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 around you, around you. I'll take you there, wanna take you there. Na na na, it's my thumb, baby. It's like I waited my whole life for this one night. It's gonna be me, you, and the dance floor. I think I'm gonna do yellow windows. My yellow is dried out. Though it's definitely dried out, there's no chance it's not. No, but, oh, it's not. I lied out of my ass, fully lied. It is not dried out. What happens if I mix some of my yellow with my raw umber? It makes it really ugly and gross. Nice, I love that. I love that for us. Just kidding. We're gonna do yellow. I got a little bit of green in that on accident. And white. I need more white. That was a skimpy amount of white. I always think that yellow isn't as strong as it is. Because sometimes 
I think of yellow as the same as white. So I'll be like, oh, I just have to add. I have to add like a lot of it for it to change. But if I add a speck, just a speck of yellow, it, it changes everything. It's really annoying. I think my least favorite color to paint with has to be green. Oh my gosh. Green taints everything. If green touches anything, it changes it and it pisses me off. I guess it makes sense though because green's like its own thing because it's like a neutral color in the in the color wheel or whatever and so no matter what you're mixing it to like if I accidentally mix red into purple it's not going to be that big of a deal if I accidentally mix um yellow into orange or yellow into um even yellow into purple like it's not gonna be a big deal but like green it's so strong in what it does. It's just so annoying. Do I want like a bright yellow? I don't think I can make it any darker. Oh, yes, I could. What's the opposite of yellow? Purple? That's gonna piss me off. Give me some of it. Put it over here and I'll take a little bit of purple over here. Da 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 da. I need more purple. Yellow and purple is kind of a cute color scheme. I don't know why I never do yellow and purple. I always end up doing pink and green. I don't know why. It's really annoying though. Because I don't like the AKA colors. But that's what literally what pink and green are. Like if you see pink and green around here, it's usually AKA. And I don't really like it. It's just like really obnoxious. Sometimes. Like we get it. I can tell if someone's an AKA by, like, just how they dress. I like that. I like that a lot. Es muy bien. Um, can I, should I just use the same brush since it's so tiny? I kind of want to watch Wizard Baby Plays. I've been watching the podcast that they've been doing. And I really am enjoying it. Okay. So my only thing with this is that because it's at an angle, I don't really know where the center is. And so I think that would be the center right here. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Hello there, ladies and gents. Are you ready to rock? Are you ready or not? Excuse me. My gosh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> That's not the center. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, let me widen the door a little bit. Nobody cares. Everybody loves a wide door. Who doesn't love a wide door? Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. That's like really not in the center at all. Actually, to you guys, it looks like it's in the center. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm blowing. Bug it. Bug it. Bug it. Can hear myself for a second. Okay. Um, I like the ideas of having window, 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 window. So I think I'm going to do it like that. This, I think, it needs to be a little bit whiter. Well, we're just going to go ahead and um, yeah, I'm going to add some white. Some white. Some white. A little bit of white and some of that purple that I already mixed earlier. Yum. It's muy delicioso.
It's kind of very white. Especially from back there. I might darken it just because of depth and like how depth works. To make it look a little bit farther. But for now, I usually like to start with my lighter colors so that they layer better. Especially with some of these acrylics aren't very thick. Maybe with more expensive acrylics I could go from dark to light, but... We're not there yet. Uh, uh, uh. This song's good. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, I think those windows usually come up uh, above. I could be wrong. And I might be, but I don't really like them being the same length. I feel like it looks kind of crazy. I like them coming up like that. I think it looks better. That looks like kind of crazy too, actually. Um, what's done is done. I can't fix that now. All right. I could, I just don't feel like it. Oh, do, 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 do. I love when a song is on a track and it stops but plays the melody and then drops the beat again. Ugh, chills. <sighs> I should make my own lo-fi music. Do you think... If I made my own lo-fi music and then played it, I would get my videos taken down because they would think that I'm copywriting something, even though it's my music. I wonder what like hoops I have to jump through to do that. So I feel like they just take down anything with music in it because it could be copyright, even if it's not. And then I mean YouTube. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's it. That's it right there. Oh! Look how pretty that house is. You can't even see it. For real. Oh, I like that a lot actually. And then we're going to have like a window just right here, like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. I think it's actually supposed to be a tree covering this house, but it doesn't really matter. I'll put it in later if it's supposed to be there. I get so sad when I like paint something in heavy detail and then I end up painting something to cover it anyways. And it makes me not want to, um, cover it up, but I know it's going to make the piece better, but I put so much work into something. I think that's something I'm going to have to get over that I struggle with. Look at that. Mm. A little attic window. It would be a circle, but I think because I did a triangle over here, I have to do a triangle over there. Just to kind of make it look better and more cohesive and again we, we're probably going to cover it anyways and I was going to have a chimney come up over here but 
actually. I don't have my raw umber. I mean, my burnt umber, but I have my raw umber. So I can section it out a little bit. This chimney doesn't really make any sense in its placement because usually it would be over here, but I just feel like the symmetry of the house doesn't make sense for it to be over there. So I'm not putting it over there. You know what I mean? Like it could have been over here, but I didn't want that. So it's over. It's in the center. It's like coming from the house, which is different from this one, but it's okay. Um, I need some white. All my white's dried out. Great. Oh, you know what? I can just take some of this. Oh, this is already mixed. Nice. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I hope that muted it, but I don't think it did. That's okay. Hear my coughs. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to bring in some burnt on bed. Do 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 My tummy's kind of upset. for that to dry. My goodness.
Yum. <sighs> this chimney is about to piss me off, though, but... I need a second. I do want to finish this. Um, I want to finish the trees today. Like, an entirety. I think I'm going to try to get that done. I do think I'm going to need to take a break in a second, though. Before I even start the next trees. Oh, my goodness. Do the world. All right. Um, I feel like I should take some process photos. I actually don't want popcorn anymore. I thought about it. I don't want it. Please, my camera is having an aneurysm. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it's not acting right. Why is my camera doing that? You know when your camera does that thing? It's doing that thing. Please turn off. Please restart. 
Thank you. Chase. Chase Lewis. All right. I'm going to continue to paint. So, let's see what I can, what angle I can get here. Not a great one. I'm going to have to move the camera itself. Which is a little frustrating. But I can do it. Just a wee bit. It's just like in my way though. Oh, you know what I could do? Is can this move on for a little bit? Or no. Oh, we can. Perfect. It'll moment for some technical difficulties. There's my room, don't look at it. It's a mess. I don't really want it in my frame, but I might have to deal with it. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to have to deal with it. <sighs> All right. Let us go ahead. My favorite part. Mm. Yum. Oh, I got paint on my cup. No, what am I to do? I'm going to actually just cover all of this in squiggies because now we are... Going ahead and doing brown pretty much all over. Not brown, purple pretty much all over. Oh, my phone's off. I was like, oh my gosh, it's not working. In the two minutes that I shut my phone off, I forgot I shut it off. Two squaggles. <sighs> My tweets. I message. Who's texting me? Who do you think I am? Ow. Running around leaving scars. That's a good ass song. I used to love that song. So I'm wondering if I should do... Oh, this is a different tree, though. That's a whole different tree. We're not even going to worry about that tree right now. That's got nothing to do with me. I got to make sure I know where I want my, um, my greenery to be, though. Because... Kind of just throwing shit out the wall at this point. I feel like I'm making them too big. I need to make it a little bit smaller. 
have a little bit more patience. Um, I don't know where, I feel like I should have left some more room for the sky, but I didn't do that. So that's just not the style we're going to go for today. Yeah, I'm just I'm I don't I don't know what I'm heading with this one. So I think I want to do where the greenery kind of comes around here, and then these ones cascade down. They have a little bit of overlap here, so the greenery would be here, and then maybe even here. Maybe these would be like two separate trees. And have some. I think I want more layers for that one. Definitely. So let me see if I can section it out a little bit. Actually, give me a brown. I want a brown. I hate that I can still see the green underneath this purple. I think my shit. I think I need this to stop muting my spray sound. It's my favorite sound. And I just muted it and that just pissed me off. My purples are drying. So I gotta start working with them. I might just have to remix them at this point. Ugh. See, this is what I'm talking about. This makes me want to quit. Just kidding. I'm just gonna repaint. I need to um, move everything out of the way though. Oh, I see what people mean by you can just scrape this shit off. You definitely can just scrape it off. I've wasted so many palette papers. 
I'm not just gonna dump it over here. It's more purple. Uh, I need white. I literally put not even a little bit of the blue. And how is there too much blue? Oh. Riddle me freaking that. Because I would like to know. Now we have to add white. It's still a little bit too purple. I need more magenta. My goodness. I just keep getting more blue in this. Alright. That's because there's blue on my palette knife today. Alright, for the fun part. Bringing in those light purples.
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, okay. I am going to want some up here as well. But I also kind of want to bring in this blue and uh, kind of paint over the back. Because I really don't, I kind of want to be able to see to the sky. So I think once I finish this, then I'll work on the sky next and then work on the trees again. And then I want to finish that today, but I don't mind that I still live here, but the likelihood of that is quite slim because I am getting tired already, which is a pussy move. And I understand that it's only been like three hours, three hours is nothing. I really miss what I used to call project runway days where I'd have a project due or a deadline for something and I only had 10 hours left so I would cram everything into 10 hours and I would call them project runway days because I would either watch project runway or just kind of act like I was in project runway and it was like make it work it really motivates me that show because some people be making full-on garments in an hour i love seeing artists do that it's like my favorite thing under the wire i think if i were an art teacher i would do a project like that where you had um like two hours to do something i would definitely do that We'd call them a cram day. I'd make it so you can design it before you get there, unlike Project Runway, where you have like 10 minutes of design. Make it work. I love those. 
um, but I've crammed a lot in my time. Pretty much everything I've ever done was crammed. It's just who I am, I don't know. I need to see how that dries, because I need that to dry darker than that. See, I don't think it's my allergies. I think I might be sick. I definitely think I might be sick. I feel like I should call out tomorrow, but I'm not going to. I need the money. Maybe I'll take my temperature after this. These purples are so pretty, man. Goodness. They are gorge. Gorge, 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 gorge. I don't know why I'm painting it like that. That is not how I paint. Ugh, that looks awful on camera. Oh my god, let me fix it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Stop looking at it. I do apologize. That's not what it's supposed to look at at all. Ugh. Ugh. There you go. Better? Better. If you guys can't actually see what I'm painting over there. Oh yeah, you can. Can you? Sure. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, I like that. And then you go to here. I wish I had more stories to tell. I want to go see, um, The Mario movie. I didn't even talk about my experience of seeing that movie. I fucking hated it. I sat next to this man. And he was a grown ass man. Fully grown. 40 plus. Had to have been. But he was an uncle. He was the uncle of the family. Their entire family was there. He was the uncle. Um, As soon as the father... Well, I'm assuming he was the father. He was like, my brother's coming. And I was like, oh, shit. The brother is always the worst. I don't know what it is in any situation. So I already knew I was already set up. This man comes in the theater. And he yells when he comes in. He's like, hey. Movie's already started. Movie's already started and this man comes in yelling. Anyways. So for the first, like, 15 minutes of the movie, I can't even pay attention because this man keeps trying to, like, I don't know. So, like, he, they were passing their nachos back and forth. And then every single time he'd get the nachos, he would then try to pass me a nacho. And he was like, you want a nacho? I was like, no. And I was trying to be nice, but, like, he did it three times. And the third time I was like, please leave me alone. And Henry's little brother, every single time I would say something, they would like, <laughs> and I was like, grown men, 40 plus, twice my age, kicking about some children's ass jokes. And so the entire movie, he's trying to like get his family to laugh. And he has a sense of humor of a six year old, obviously. So every single time there's a joke on the screen, like every time somebody jokes, in the movie, he repeats the joke like a child does because they think that's funny, just repeating the joke. And then every single time a song played, he'd have to dance to it or sing it the entire time. Um, he at one point got on the phone. His brother had left the theater to go to the bathroom and his brother and the guy next to me called his brother on the phone. For, like, a good chunk of the movie, I have a feeling he might have been recording me because he was holding his phone like this, like, 
but he wasn't talking on the phone. He was just holding it up and it was pointing directly at me. Um, and it was very odd and he did it multiple times. So that was my experience seeing the Mario movie. I always have weird experiences seeing children's movies. Like I went to go see that Dora movie a long time ago and there was this random guy and it was assigned seats because it had like that theater with reclining chairs or whatever and so it was assigned seats and actually i think all theaters are assigned seats now anyways um we get there and he's he's coming he's sitting he has like He's sitting there waiting to see this movie. And I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe he's waiting for his kid. Because this is the Dora movie. And he's, like, grown. Like, he did not grow up watching Dora. And so I'm like, he has to be waiting for his kid. Nobody ever comes. And actually turns out that he did not have a ticket to this movie. And he ends up, like, leaving because the it's, like, packed in there. And I'm just, like, kind of confused because it kind of gave the vibe that he was only there because children were going to be there. It was very weird because if you're going to movie hop and you're a grown man, why are you seeing the Dora movie? And I don't mean grown man like early 30s, late 20s. I mean like 50s, 60s, never seen Dora a day in your life. But I don't know his story. Maybe maybe his daughter or something used to watch Dora and something happened and he just wanted to see it to memori- mem- mem- remember her? Memoriate? I don't know. I don't know people's stories. It was just very odd. And I think everybody around me thought it was weird too. His energy was very weird when I had gone. But I can't assume. But I don't know. I just never have a normal experience in the movie theater anymore. And it's really frustrating because I used to love the movie theater, but I haven't been going because... Something about people in a movie theater just act a fucking fool. Last time I went, there was these two kids. And to be fair, they were kids. They were middle schoolers. And they were on a date. But they were very clearly, like, not raised right. And so they were just being assholes the entire movie. And you can't really do anything to those kids. Like, you can't say anything to kids like that because they're not going to care about anything you say. And the more mad you get, the more they're going to think it's a joke. And so we kind of just all had to deal with it. And I think someone turned around and, like, said something to her. And I think she was, like, kicking the back of her seat or whatever. And then she did that thing where she would just continue to kick it back to her seat because she was mad that she addressed... You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I don't know. I just... I don't think I'm going to willingly go to the movie theater anytime soon. I just never have that great of an experience in the movie theater anymore. Ever since, like, the Marvel movie era end with our era of Marvel, I just haven't really felt the need to go to the theater. I think I'm going to go for Spider-Verse, but that's about it. Oh, and Guardians is coming out. I love Guardians of the Galaxy, so I'm definitely going to be seeing that 100%. I haven't seen literally any of the other Marvel stuff, though. Like, I used to be such a big Marvel fan. I had binged every single Marvel movie one weekend. It took two days, and I watched each day. I think I watched 10 hours. Not 10. It was more than 10. It was a lot. Because I was finishing a project. And so I think I watched... Maybe it took three days. I think it took three days. I think I watched four movies. So I think it was about ten hours. Maybe it was ten hours. And then I watched Hannah Montana to separate the movies. Um, Yeah, I had binged all of the Marvel movies except for Hulk because I don't count Hulk as being in the MCU. That makes no sense. Uh, They just were too lazy to make a new movie. The original Thor because it's boring. Actually... No, I think it was the original Thor I skipped. I definitely skipped that one. Um, I skipped Black Panther because I've seen it 20 million times and I'm tired of seeing it. I never saw the second Black Panther. That's something I do need to see that I just haven't gotten around to doing. Um, it's I've heard so many mixed opinions about that movie that I was afraid to watch it. And I feel like that movie shouldn't have come out when it did. 
I feel like it should have been postponed because the writers were mourning and so they wouldn't have been able to address the movie in a timeless way like they usually do or try to do because now they're caught up in the death of Chadwick that they're going to write the movie in memoriam of Chadwick which is sweet but doesn't really work for a movie franchise but I guess because didn't I don't watch Fast and Furious but to be fair Fast and Furious is like trash movie good time Marvel movies are supposed to be good kind of so you know um but I think they did a memoriam movie for Paul Walker but I could be wrong I think it was just a scene. I don't think it was a whole movie. Chadwick got a whole movie. <laughs> My paints keep... This needs to stop muting my sprays. I like that sound. That's so annoying. It's like the more I spray, the more it learns. And I don't like that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, yeah, yums. Yeah, yeah, yums. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm singing along to this lo fi music, by the way. If anybody's watching this in the future, because you're not going to be able to hear it. Because I know it just sounds crazy without the music. Oh. I might take a break and I've been saying that for forever but I'm serious and my purple's dry. I really miss fall. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to start making my fall art now because I'm in the mood. So it's ready when it comes around because I missed winter, like fully missed it. And so my spring stuff didn't get ready in time. So I haven't had a spring update because I haven't had enough to update my shop with. So I think I might just have to focus all my attention on fall and then doing pop-ups in fall rather than spring like I originally planned. I do still want to get some spring stuff done. Um, I just, uh, it's just, I don't know. Like I try as hard as I can not to lose faith in myself, but I feel like I'm constantly losing direction in where I'm going and what I'm doing. And what I need to do and what I want to do. It's just not easy to be an artist. You need to know a lot. And I don't know enough. Alright, I need a lighter purple color. I think this one's still wet, so we can use this one. I probably should have started higher up. Interesting. That was such an interesting intro to that song.
I'm missing a color. I'm definitely missing a color. I want to say it's this one, but I think it's like a step higher than that. A little bit more magy magy. Do 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 the mountains you lift me up and there is a the sea I is at Yum, yum, yum. I need to start posting some reels. Maybe I'll post one tomorrow.
Oh, my goodness. I gotta post on um, TikTok too. That shit's annoying, bro. My trees look different. They look different. Uh oh. Rot row. Rot row rowdy. I'm gonna bring some more of this purple in because I don't know what's wrong. It's raggy, not rowdy. Silly me. Okay. I think it's fine. And then if you just bring in some of that magenta. Take some of that. And then some of that. Okay, I didn't do the um trees that are gonna go in the house yet. I forgot to do that. Fully forgot. Let's do it now since I have the paint mix. I know I said I was gonna take a break like an hour ago, but things happen. Oops, I put my thumb in my paint. I gotta pee. Um.
forgot what I was working on. Oh, yes. Could just mix more of this and stop being lazy. Um. It's not going to be too bad. All right. I think it looks good. I think there needs to be a little bit of tweaking, but that's for super future me. That's for like finish piece me. Let's see if we can. Oh, that's so good. There's a chance I might work on the back off camera, but we'll see. So I might work on this some more today, but I'm done streaming for the day. So if you're watching this later, have a wonderful rest of your day, of whatever day you're watching this. Um, and yeah.